Well, I don't know if you can make that out or not, but uh, my uh, my antenna finally came, and uh, it's a, a round. No, actually, it's supposed to be round. I better go ahead and add some stuff here, but uh, yeah, it uh, it's called Mega Loop, an ML. MLA-30 and what happens is um, this little guy here is going to be mounted down here these two screws on either side the thumb screws on either side are going to be hooked to the uh, here we go here I had to re redo that uh, the two uh, thumb screws so this will be screwed to the the PVC. It doesn't come with PVC. You got to have your own. Uh, and the thumb screws will go there. I'll have to. It comes with like two self-tapping screws. So I'll have to drill a hole, and then I'll have the whoop, I'll have that mounted there. We mount like that. The other end has the other part that goes to the power source which in this case that'll be to probably a wall wart or something like that and because uh, it comes with a USB the USB connector and that'll go to the uh, little wall wart port and, and then what I'm going to do is that one inch PVC is going to go into uh, a broomstick, basically, a mop head, whatever I have, uh, to get a little bit more length to it. And then I'll have to get an adapter for these little tiny coax connectors. But uh, and then I can hook that to any of my radios and for the antenna and see how that does. Thing about this is it be totally portable. I can use it inside the house or outside if I can get to a you know a power source. And um, hopefully, uh, what happens now is a lot of the um, the antennas I have basically they've got way too much noise. They pick up all kinds of noise from the house. And um, the thing with this is it'll cut down on some noise, and I can move it in any direction I want. So it's pretty much directional in any way I want to move it. And uh, it's good for a whole range of frequencies. So and it shouldn't be too bad, I would think. It's, uh, you know, let's see, frequency range, 1 to 30 megahertz. So it's got a pretty good range. And they said that um, you can use this for also for the uh, an SDR uh, receiver on your computer. It'll also work for that. So, anyhow, so that's all I'm going to show you today. Uh, just I got this thing and I'll be putting it together today. And uh, sometime later I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Hopefully it doesn't look too clunky. And uh, we'll go from there. And that's going to be it for now. See you guys later.